and thanks for joining us. Today we're talking about how to get started with containers on AWS. I'm Abby. I'm here with Nathan Peck, who's one of our developer advocates for containers. Hello, everyone. Um, so first off, can you tell us what are containers and what are some, some reasons that folks might be using them? Yeah, so containers are one of the most popular technologies for building a modern application because they provide a really easy way to package up your application and its dependencies and then distribute that application and operate it in the cloud, um, locally, wherever you want to run that application uh, without a lot of overhead. So super portable. Exactly. Awesome. Um, can you tell me a little bit about how I can work with containers on AWS? Exactly. So uh, containers on AWS is very easy because we have a variety of different services that allow you to both orchestrate your container deployment um, as well as uh, a fully managed service, uh, which is a compute engine for running containers uh, on AWS, and that's called Fargate. I heard a rumor that not only are you going to tell us about Fargate, but you're going to show us a demo. Yes. Uh, so I want to show off a little mini site that we developed uh, called containers on AWS.com, which provides you with easy to use recipes for launching your containers uh, on AWS. And so if you go to this website, there's a section for architecture patterns. And the first pattern is one of the most popular patterns, a simple public facing uh, application container. So if I click on this, you can see a diagram of what this looks like, a little load balancer attached to a container and just serving up that web page. So I want to launch this application uh, container uh, on AWS. And so I just click the Launch button. And it brings me to AWS CloudFormation Console with a preformed template that will make it easier for me to launch an application. So I go to Docker Hub. I find this uh, small NeanCat web application that someone has developed. And I'd like to run this on AWS. So I just drop that image URL into the template. I name the service that I want to launch. And I click Next and Create. And so then if I go to my load balancer and check the URL that I set up earlier, I see a simple NeonCat application running in the cloud. <laughs> awesome. um, it doesn't take long. It's very easy to get started uh, with running your application container um, as well. Awesome. So all kind of the, the regular benefits of that you get with EC2, so things like load balancing and security groups and sub subnets and stuff like that. But all I have to worry about is just running my application. Exactly. There's actually no EC2 instances on this account right now. Everything is running inside of AWS Fargate. If you want to learn more, you can go to aws.amazon.com slash containers. Uh, thanks for joining us.